is to remove this little spring, push down in the front, and rotate it off that, out from under that pin. Yeah, great. Okay, remove this pin, push the safety out. Now, when you, re when you remove this, it fits rather tight. I suggest you put your fingers here so that when you pull this up and off, it doesn't bite the handguard. Uh, most handguard damage here is done when you're removing this pistol grip rather than putting it back on, but just a suggestion. And this is really, I mean, you can blow this out with compressed air or whatever. I would not go any farther unless you're having an issue. Uh, it's unnecessary. Everything works. Uh, you can look and see how all the little gizmos work and blah blah blah. If you just can't stand yourself, you with a weapon in the fired position, you can take a pointy object, push the hinge pin out, hold the trigger in position so that you can capture this spring and bushing. Because when you remove this, there's a little bushing on the end, there's a spring, and there's another bushing. You, when you put this back together, you have to put it all back together. Don't miss any pieces. In order to reinstall the trigger, you first, this, this bar will, will pivot into the wrong place, have it in the lower position, drop a bushing on. Then your spring, and if you'll notice the spring goes all the way to the end of that, you have to compress the spring, put the other bushing on, place the tail of that spring guide into the tail of the sear, and line the hole of the trigger up with the hole in the uh, trigger stand, put the pin in, that pin goes in pretty easy if you've done your job and it's lined up. What I highly suggest is that you make sure the mechanism works properly. You can pull the charging handle back, you can see that the sear engages, you get proper trigger function, everything works. I would do that before I put the handle back on. Put the handle back on again I would put my finger there place this down behind the handguard and tap it in place now if all goes well the holes will line up and it's simply a matter of dropping the pins in okay if the pin is not down all the way not with something metallic but with a rubber mallet or, or a piece of wood you can gently tap it down the safety should drop in the hole. If the safety doesn't, keep bouncing this around with your hand until the safety drops in. You don't want the safety to be bound up. 